All right, we're in the building. Check out, check this out, excuse me. Uh, Ford Field, Detroit Lions home field will have full capacity crowds this year. Let's talk about it. Make sure you thumbs up to the video, share the video. I do appreciate the love and support of everybody showing the channel. Keep sharing the channel, and uh, we're going to keep putting it down. The only way we know how to put it down, all right? So apparently uh, most people who, who did know, if you live on the Rock NFL, it's built on greed, no, greed of ownership, not the greed of the players, but the ownership. And most people speculated this year they would have full capacity crowds, okay? So let's read it. I do appreciate everybody for tapping in, sharing the videos. Um, let's get to the article. Detroit Lions can have four field at full capacity this year. Allen Park, Michigan, Associated Press, Detroit Lions. Let's get the pull on up for you. Detroit Lions uh, say four field can be at full capacity this season, a year after the public did not have access to games during the pandemic. Lions announced on Monday that the decision was made in large part because of Michigan's steady COVID-19 vaccine, vaccination rate. The team will, will follow the state's reopening guidelines, will not require fans to wear masks. Lions will not ask spectators for proof of vaccination status, but they will encourage uh, unvaccinated fans to wear face coverings. Quote, we have a long awaited the moment where we can officially declare we will have 65,000 in Fort Field this fall, Detroit Lions President Rob Wood said. We've worked diligently with NFL as well, look to as well as look to federal, state, and local guidelines to monitor what's best for, for our team, staff, and fans. All right. So that was Rob Wood. That's what the Wood had to say. And am I surprised? No, it's, you know, this shit is built on greed. We all know that. And guess what? It's your prerogative. If I'm not going to sit here and tell you what you should and what you shouldn't do, this is this is for the most part on you. Okay. I like to see you, I like to hear you guys' opinion on, on this matter. But I know most of the young people who don't have no fear of the virus, they going, you know. They going, they're not gonna get vaccination. You're gonna have to keep telling them to pull up their mask. Cause then you got a lot of old people, you know, a lot of old people that uh they don't believe in wearing no mask neither. But my thing is, um, look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk getting sick. And yeah, people ain't gonna like this. It was uh jammed in there like sardines with 25,000 fans, and you're not gonna win, you know. If you're not gonna win, I'm not gonna risk it. You know, I'm not last time I went down there. The job took us down there for the Jet game, and they just was supposed to at least be – I mean, they supposed to beat the Jets. And they went out there and fell, fell apart, you know. They fell apart like you make macaroni and meatloaf without eggs. They fell apart, and, you know, for the most part, everybody, you know, wants to keep approaching this with blind faith, most of the younger fans. You know, some old people come and say, well, you're not being positive. Man, if you've been in this as long as I've been in this, and if you've been in it longer, you know, it's atrocious for you to sit here and, and approach each season. With blind faith, it was through Millen before Millen with Fines and Bobby Ross keep going on and on with Steve Mariucci. You know, until they prove they can win, I'm not gonna spend my money down there. You know what I'm saying? I might go to a bar down there, but around Fort Field, but I'm not gonna spend my money. I'm not gonna damn sure risk my life. You know, if they winning, okay, maybe. But you know, going going there and buying season tickets and you know, come on, man. They 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 don't I know we didn't have we didn't have the opportunity to go see it in person and do I prefer the in-game experience over the TV experience? Me personally, no. The reason I say that to Detroit Detroit downtown is absolutely too small. Your best bet is after the game or leave, if you ain't going to leave early after the game, you got to go through all the goddamn traffic. You got to go through all the downtown small, the one-way streets. It's going to take you forever to get to the freeway. So my thing is, for one, you don't have to be down there for them. I used to work down there. From 12 to 4 5, then you're gonna have to find a spot where you have to eat and wait to the traffic to blow over. Then you're able to go downtown. Thanksgiving is absolutely the worst, and Monday night primetime games are absolutely uh, the worst. But my thing is for me to risk all of that, you gotta win. For me to risk all of that, you gotta win. And if you're not gonna win, I'm not gonna risk all of that. So that's just my humble opinion on it. But let me know what you guys, what y'all stance in the comment section. On going to the stadium, vaccinated or not vaccinated, or if it's a mystery, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, choir response, or video quest. All that social media links description. Twitter is the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram. All the links description. Facebook group link there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash up, CJ Good 313. It's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Uh, one time for the one time, Mercy Sports Talk. Don't forget to check out my main channel right here, YouTube, Goodfellas Sports TV. Appreciate the love, support. Peace.